Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading Aquarius. Let's see what's going on in regards to your love and romance. Now your first card here is the Ace of Cups. I see you guys being ready to receive love. This could also represent emotional overflowing or for some of you guys the realization of having feelings for someone. Now, the obstacle here is the Two of Cups, bringing your walls down, Aquarius, being able to being able to move forward in a positive way. Uh, for some of you guys, it's the realization of having feelings for a specific individual. Now, you do have the world card here in the past and passing. So there was a conclusion or some type of ending. Um, for some of you guys, it could have been... Uh, you know that recently there was some type of ending for some it could be uh ending in the sense of with the world card i feel that and the ace of cups i feel that for a lot of you guys it's almost like you've been evading or you've been trying not to have feelings for a specific person i feel that the majority of you guys already know who this person is now for others it could represent new love coming your way but I, I'm getting more of a sense of like there is this attraction. There is this like being pulled towards a specific person. Um, perhaps it could have been that you were guarded. Perhaps you felt there was a fear of some type of rejection. But I definitely do see you guys coming into that uh, for the end of June. So again, for some of you guys, it could be confessing feelings. For others of you, it could be acknowledging that maybe you do have feelings for a specific individual for some of you guys it could even be dealing with a friend or someone that is in your friend circle now with the ten of swords there was some type of conclusion we got two endings here so i feel that for some of you guys it's probably the ending uh to being single especially for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while now, you do have the Page of Pentacles, so the Page of Pentacles does speak to me about children. For some of you guys, it could be that children um, has become a priority in your life, or it could be that you yourself have children, and you've put all your attention and effort focused towards them, and you've kind of forgotten about yourself, Aquarius. But again, I do see this transformative type of energy, the conclusion of singlehood coming towards an end going towards a new beginning now you do have here the king of swords so i feel that you're coming on more confident more believing in yourself trusting yourself aquarius now you do have the high priestess for some of you guys being pulled towards a specific person that is very knowledgeable someone that has a lot of experience or someone that you highly respect i see them I see them very like it could be that they're extremely educated. It could be that uh, they've learned to master their craft, something that they do that you genuinely admire them. And, and I feel more they're telling me more like admiring them from a distance. But I think that you're coming to the conclusion of understanding that you may actually have feelings for this person. You also do have the Ace of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Earth energy Aquarius. i sorry, not Aquarius. Um capricorn taurus virgo type of energy and the ace of pentacles could also represent new beginning and a new opportunity that is being almost like giving you the green light you have two aces just in these cards so again a lot of momentum when it comes to new beginnings for you aquarians now you also do have here the king of pentacles so yeah i see earth energy um for others it could be air energy as well a gemini an Aquarius like yourself or a Libra. But what they're saying here is that for some of you guys, it could be that you finally found your, your match, the person that you've been looking for, the person that is going to bring out the best in you, Aquarius. I think that a lot of you guys are, it's almost like you're going to be pulled towards this person. Um, and this could be a person that is already in your surroundings. Like I said, they are telling me it could be a friend of a friend. It could be a friend of yours, someone that you haven't seen in that in that way or you haven't been wanting to take it to the next level. 
because you 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 admire them, you respect them. Um, but I think that you were very quick to like not pursue it. For some of you guys, it could have been out of respect. For others of you, you just didn't want it to turn bad the way perhaps your past relationships have. But this is definitely, they're giving you the green light, Aquarius. They're saying definitely go for it. Uh, you deserve to be happy. And I think that it's very important for Aquarians to find um, a partner that is okay with respecting that sometimes we need our space. And I think that uh, Earth energy could be very good for you. I think that they can teach you a lot, Aquarius. And I think that you can actually teach them a lot as well um what they're saying here is that with the two aces i think that the only one that's in your way from moving this connection forward is yourself and it could be out of fear it could be out of insecurities but what they're saying is that you have every right to give yourself the opportunity to be happy aquarius now if you don't know who i'm talking about this could be new love coming towards you and it could come through a like I said, it could come through a friend. It could be a friend that introduces you to a friend. Um, and, and I feel their energy is very mature type of energy. Like they know exactly what it is that they want. They are in their pursuit uh, to goals and aspirations that they're doing. And, and that could be the reason why you admire them and you respect them because it's like they have their own identity. And I think that that's very important when it comes to partnership, especially for you Aquarians, for people to understand that being in a relationship doesn't mean you lose yourself in the relationship or that you lose your identity. Um, if anything, uh, true love is free. Uh, so what I mean by that is that you are most ideal with someone that is willing to give you your space and, and your room to breathe. And I think that this person that's coming towards you is definitely that. Now, I do want to point out if, like I said, if you've been giving yourself your whole focus and effort towards children, um, I think that what they're trying to say here is that it's important to take care of yourself, Aquarius. It's important to find your happiness as well because obviously a happy father or a happy mother means happy children so again don't forget about yourself don't forget about your needs and your desires aquarius it's okay to want to find happiness you deserve it um now for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship i do see that there was or will be some type of ending for some of you guys, it could be walking away from a relationship that is no longer working out for you. And I think that at this point, um, it is important to mention that there is commitment. There is commitment and opportunity for new love coming towards you. If you felt at some point that you just haven't been able to find your happiness, what they're saying is that there has been major progress and major changes in your life, Aquarius, where you are complete. It's almost like you've done your work and you've learned to find yourself again. And I think that by doing that, it makes you a much better partner because you're no longer trying to... Um, trying to figure out who you are you already know who you are and i think that this person that's coming towards you is exactly that as well so i think that the energy is very very positive very receptive type of energy and and it, it, it's almost i feel that for some of you guys you already know who i'm talking about and it's almost like you've tried really hard not to pursue it because you don't want to get your hopes up or because you perhaps there's fear that maybe it's not reciprocated um and perhaps it hasn't been reciprocated but i feel that it has more to do with they have no idea that you're interested in them so i think the moment you make that move everything's going to change not only for you but for them as well perhaps they've never looked at you as the type that they would want to date um getting to know you better or having that conversation or actively letting them know you're interested may surprise you um so don't hold yourself back aquarius you deserve to be happy 
I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see each other soon. Bye.